After a morning browsing in the bush, the four older calves return to the sanctuary for their midday milk. For the first year of their life, they're entirely milk dependent and will drink up to 50 pints of milk every 24 hours. They remain partially milk dependent until they are two years old. Since their arrival at Daphne's sanctuary, these calves have thrived. She tells many stories of their suffering. Dika witnessed the murder of his whole family, who were gunned down with automatic rifles on Mount Kenya. Not only did he see them killed, but he also saw the tusks cut from their faces. Not having tusks himself probably saved his life. He was found standing among the mutilated bodies. Malaika's herd had wandered onto cultivated land and were attacked by irate tribesmen. Her mother was killed and she was badly beaten. When she was brought in, she was traumatized and fell into a deep depression. Edo was found wandering alone in Amberselli after his mother had been killed. Dume came from the same herd as Malaika, and when he was brought in, he was unconscious. Elephants have a great capacity for caring and compassion. By placing his trunk over Malaika, Dika knows instinctively how to comfort and to reassure her. Six-month-old Ajok comes from the South Takana region in northern Kenya. This is a dry desert area and the elephants that live here are very hardy. Ajok comes from this strong genetic stock, and as a consequence, he is a tough little elephant. His herd were fleeing from poachers, and he was found unconscious in a dry riverbed. Just two weeks old, he didn't remember his family, and the keepers and other calves quickly replaced those he never knew. Everyone concerned with rearing the calves is aware that their psychological well-being is just as important as their physical health. So Ajok's keeper, like a natural family, is very tolerant of his exuberant behavior. Under normal conditions in the wild, it is extremely rare for animals of different species to interact with one another. But Ajok, who is always on the lookout for some fun, has struck up a close relationship with a young zebra called Magua. <laughs> <laughs> 